Okay, so here's the situation. Should hit the fan happen, WROL, no rule of law whatsoever. People are going crazy. You found yourself a little safe spot, just like me. Check out this place. You got your vehicle, you've got whatever you could grab from your house. And let's say you only have one weapon. What would it be? I've come to post-apocalyptic Orlando, Florida to tell you that very question. Alright, you can tell the building here was destroyed, looted probably, not much resources left. But you can still survive here. There's game to hunt, there's enough resources around at least to give you a little bit of footing. And this is the weapon system, anyway, weapon system, all of this. And this is the common man's takedown rifle system. I've shown videos and videos about this, and it's all culminated into one piece right here. First of all, this is a Slazinger tennis case, youth. So if you're a bigger guy, this will not fit you, this bag right here. And it's better than all the other incognito cases out there made by like 5.11 and stuff like that. It's a backpack, so you can actually run with this. First things first, I want to show you the inside. We pretty much split up the rifle into two pieces. This was a Marlin 795. Stock on one side with flashlight, receiver and barrel, all up in this black trash bag right here. We'll start out with the stock. As you can see, all I did was I cut the forend off. How well can you see that in this light? There we go. Pretty much sawed it off, and since this is a fiberglass core, to seal the fiberglass inside, I just used some truck bed liner, and that worked out very well. I've got a pocket cut out from a backpack, simply tied on to the end here with some paracord. That was essentially free, so already this is very good for the common man, very cheap. Whole rifle itself, 160 bucks. What else do we have in here? We've got shooting sticks. I haven't shown a video about this, but these are very awesome, also free. Um, and these are actually shorties. You can tell they're not very long. They're for shooting in the prone position because I can't stick a bipod on here. Let's see if I can't do this with one hand. Let's take out this baby. Look how okay, awesome welcome back. Looks. I've got the whole rifle assembled. Um, if you want to know how to do this, um, it's really easy. Just chop off the forearm of the Marlin 795, like I said, seal it. And the whole rifle actually splits in two. You just take the trigger guard off, and the action in the barrel lifts straight off the stock. It takes about a minute. And uh, this particular setup takes me three minutes because I had to make it all showy for you. But there you go. Um, the only tool you really need to take it down is that right there. Now, uh, I included the black trash bag here because um, it separates the action in the barrel from touching anything so it doesn't scratch up the bluing or damage anything. And it's just always useful to have. You can even use it as a shooting rest. Um, for here, I just use it to keep everything off the dirt and this cement thing that will scratch everything. And uh, doesn't this thing look freaking awesome? That's the money shot right here, right off the side, just a little bit. Um, I don't have the magazines in um, because I didn't feel like taking the flashlight off, so I can't use the tripod um, up here at the forearm. Uh, but that's no big deal. It's not like I'm shooting today anyway. Something very easily carried at the bottom of this bag, or the heel, is ammunition. I've got about 125 in there right now, um, plus 200 rounds in the buttstock of the rifle. In here, paperwork and targets, and in there I've got a t-shirt padding the bottom because this bag isn't meant to hold the weight of weapons or anything like that. It was made to hold a tennis racket, so I decided to help it along just a little bit. Um, also in the bag, I've got the 25 round Pro Mag magazine for the Marlin 795. So this looks a bit weird. It's a rifle that looks like it's made for long range, but it has an extended magazine, something that you can't really use in prone position. Um, I also have the 10 round magazine 
it's actually in this little pocket on the buttstock. And uh, that is for when I'm shooting prone. Uh, if I'm stuck in something where I need to use a lot of rounds really fast, I use the 25 round magazine. It doesn't have flip up sights like an AR-15 or anything like that. So you're pretty much stuck using the scope. But I actually prefer the scope than the holographic sights because it gives me better accuracy overall. And because it's only four power, you can use it at 25 yards. In the main pocket, let me show you what I got. I've got gloves and a sling. The sling attaches to can I show you? this little paracord lanyard I just put up. And that's a single point sling. And those are just Easton gloves. That's actually a baseball brand. And uh, yeah, if you want to be, you know, budget minded, cheap, whatever you want to call it, those are pretty good gloves to use. They're not so great for loading. Well, actually, they are great for loading, but they kind of get caught on the feed lips. But that's no big deal. I would use mechanics gloves, but the only mechanics I had were on sale. And so they're a size bigger, so I don't like to use them for shooting. In this bag, also out of the same top pocket, there's only two pockets to this, by the way. I've got a dollar store knife. It helps me just use the screws in there, and it gives me a knife. I've got a marker, paper towels, wet ones, uh, ear protection. Eye protection is actually in the car. And, uh, yeah. Oh, let me show you this. If you need to open this right here and you don't have the metal key, just take a plastic fork, break it, the prongs fit right in. How awesome is that? And this is the common man's shooting system. It's very, it's actually really versatile. Um, being takedown makes it really versatile, bringing it in and out of places, taking care of what you need to do. Added the light so you can use it in dark places. Scope to give you better accuracy, long range and down range. Tripod there, which I need to do a video on. Um, that's to help you steady this rifle in the prone position. Um, as you can see, I'm not putting it on the barrel because I don't want to mess with the harmonics of the barrel. Uh, I've got two sandwich bags in there that I can fill with whatever I want. I just filled it with regular shooting stuff. You can do whatever you want, survival supplies, you know, whatever. Um, I've got ammunition. I've got pretty much a black trash bag to put all my weapons on. And the bag itself, I can actually lay on myself. So I can put the bag on top of this trash bag, lay on the whole thing, and shoot from the prone position. Uh, scope itself has scope covers with clear lenses so I can shoot if it's snowing or raining. And uh, that's the whole system. Uh, the price points for all this, 160 for the gun itself, 30 bucks for the BSA 4x32 scope, $1 for the flashlight, uh, $5 for the Velcro that stuck it on there because flashlights don't need to be exact. The tripod or shooting sticks were free, essentially just made of whatever sticks and some paracord I had lying around the house. Trash bag was free, had that around. Ammunition uh, was $20. I used, to, I used some of it, but you know, $20 for all my ammunition. And the stuff in the sandwich bags, I would estimate to be about 15 bucks total. Uh, the t-shirt at the bottom of the bag, um, helping the bag support the weight, just patting the bottom so it doesn't rip. That was free. And uh, yeah, that's my system. Let me know what you think. Let me give you guys a good look right there. All of this fits into that bag and you can pretty much carry it into any environment and no one will really know you have it. The only con with the bag is that it's neon yellow on the front. So if you do get this bag, just cover it up with something. That's what I did. I just used some fabric tape and stuck on some new fabric. And uh, you know, got some looters coming, got some crazy gangs running around in this shit hit the fan, not so real scenario. Maybe even some zombies. So I gotta go guys. Let me know what you think. See you later. Did you see this guys? After everything's cleaned up, it all looks like that.